Hello everyone, I am Harshita from Sri Venkateshwar College of Engineering. In this video, let us discuss about ARM Core Functional Unit. Let us see the introduction. AMR Core is a key component in the microcontrollers providing the processing power for various functions. It consists of multiple functional units that work together to execute instruction efficiently. Let's see ARM Core Pipeline Architecture. The ARM Core features a pipeline architecture that allows for parallel processing of instruction. This pipeline includes stages such as instruction, fetch, decode, execute and write back. Let us see the register file in ARM Core. The ARM Core has a set of register that stores data and address during program execution. These registers are useful for temporary storage, data manipulation and passing parameters between functions. The register file in ARM Core plays a crucial role in us speeding up the execution of the instructions. Let us see the arithmetic logic unit in ARM code. The arithmetic logical unit is a fundamental functional unit in the ARM core responsible for performing the arithmetic and logical operation. It executes operations such as addition, subtraction, add, or, and a shift operation. Next, let us see the memory management unit in ARM core. The MMU in ARM core is responsible for translating the virtual address to the physical addresses. It helps in managing memory access, protection and virtual memory mapping. The MMU plays a vital role in ensuring efficient memory utilization and security in microcontroller system. Next, let us see the vector floating point unit in ARM code. It is a unit in ARM code which provides hardware acceleration for floating point arithmetic operation. It supports single precision and double precision floating point arithmetic. Next, let us see the single instruction multiple data unit in ARM code. This core enables parallel processing of multiple data elements using a single instruction. It provides a computation essential for the processing of multiple data elements simultaneously. Next, let us see the catch memory in ARM core. The ARM core includes the catch memory to store frequently accessed instruction and data. Cache memory helps in reducing memory access, latency and improving overall system performance. Next, let us see interrupt controller in ARM core. The interrupt controller in ARM core manages and prioritizes the interrupts from various resources. The interrupt controller plays a crucial role in handling the real-time events. Next, let us see the power management unit in ARM core. The power management unit in ARM core controls the power consumption of the microcontroller. It enables power saving features such as lock, gating, power gating and dynamic voltage scaling. Next, let us see the system control unit in ARM core. The system control unit in ARM core manages the system level configuration and control functions. It includes features such as clock generation, reset control and peripheral interface configuration. Next, let us see the security features in ARM core. The ARM core includes security features such as the trust zone technology for ensuring system security. The trust zone provides hardware-based installation of secure and non-secure resources in the microcontroller. Next, let us see the real-time clock in the ARM core. The real-time clock in ARM code provides accurate timekeeping and calendar function for real-time application. It includes features such as alarms, periodic interrupts, and time stopping 
capability. Next, let us see the communication interfaces in ARM core. ARM core supports various communication interfaces such as UART, SPI, and CAN for connecting with external devices. Next, let us see the digital signal processing unit in ARM core. The digital signal processing unit in ARM core provides hardware acceleration for digital uh, signal processing uh, algorithms. It supports operations such as filtering, convocation, etc. Next, let us see the analog to digital converter in ARM core. The analog to digital converter in ARM core converts the analog signals into digital values for processing by the microcontroller. It includes features such as desolation, sampling rate and input channels for accurate signal uh, conversion. The analog to digital converter is essential for interfacing with sensors, accumulators and other analog device in microcontroller application. Next, let us see the pulse width modulation unit in ARM code. The pulse width modulation unit in ARM code generates the pulse width modulated signals for controlling analog circuits. It provides the control over the duty cycle and frequency of the pulse width modulation signal. Finally, let us see the conclusion and the summary of the ARM core functional unit. The ARM core functional unit in microcontroller plays a critical role in enabling various functionalities and the futures. Understanding the architecture and the capability of the ARM core helps in designing the efficient and optimized microcontroller systems. By leveraging the diverse functional unit in ARM core, developers can create the innovative and high performance embedded system solution. Thank you for watching this video.